So this is Women at the Top. Um, what have you done for me lately? Part 2. The conversation continues. Okay, so in part one, we talked about women at the top and we asked the question, what have you done for me lately? So it's women who have made it, have, have gone through the patriarchy and have been able to get to the top and we're asking them, okay, when you get to the top, do you look back and help me, a woman who's not particularly at the top? Do you hold me up? Do you advance me in any kind of way? That was part one. For part two, it's women who are not necessarily at the top. What can we do to support our fellow women? Because I feel like women should come together a whole lot more to support each other even if even though you're not at the top. So this is what I think. I think if you're not at the top, you're at the top in your home. I mean, you may not be a CEO in your office, but you're a CEO in your house. And in your house, chances are you have a nanny, a house manager, a help, whatever you call them. How do you treat this woman? Do you treat her well? Do you pay her well? Do you give her off days? Do you give her any kind of bonus? Do you work her like a donkey? I feel like at any given time in your life, there's a woman who's beneath you. So like for instance, I try my best to give her, um, to pay her well, to give her off days. Um, I also don't call her botch or maid or because I just find those terms derogatory. That's just for me. So I'll call her nanny, you know. Um, so, so that's my way of saying that I'm not particularly at the top in my organization, but I'm, a, I'm the top in my house. And because I am, I'm going to help this woman in any way that I possibly can. And I think if they see, if they see and um, what, how you're treating them, they can mold it for somebody else. Also, you may not necessarily be at the top like a CEO, at CEO level, but you may ha be a manager of sorts and you might have female interns. How do you also treat these young girls, impressionable young girls who just left campus and who are starting out and you happen to be their supervisor? I had an intern called Shariz. Hi Shariz, last year. And I think Shariz thought that I'm stalking her because I was really involved in her in her well-being, in her career growth, in her training. And that was just my way of saying that I don't want you to be the tea girl for me. I won't send you on errands just because you're my intern. I'm gonna try my best for this period that you're with me to, to grow you. And I hope that I was able to do that. So I think that every, at every stage in your life, you've got a woman who's not at your level and you've, you've been able to gain access into a room that they don't have access to. So what do you do for them? Because you have the power of sorts. So I feel that, you know, women at the top, we're all at some top level and we all can do something for other women who are not there yet. So let's root for each other. Let's vouch for each other. Let's promote this hashtag sisterhood. Thank you so much for watching this part too. Please leave your comments in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and also like this video. Until next time, adios, bye.